So, uh, why, why are you here? Why do you, why were you like, yo, I, like, let me do the podcast again. What, what's the deal here? Uh, I think, I think, uh, what was it during a live stream? Mm. Uh, you were talking about anime. That is, that is one of the reasons. Sure. But we don't want to scare them away that quickly. Yeah. Think... And, uh, you know, I have disagreements with you about some animes that, you know, mm. I want, I want to cover and, and explain to you why they're good. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, but I'm talking the... about current season animes. Mm-hmm. Well, the other thing you uh, mentioned was the uh, Intel Arc GPU stuff. We'll get we'll do that first, and then we'll scare people oh, away. Oh, I, I need to grab a prop. Okay. I need to grab a pop, prop. Because, you know, I have to do props. Sure. Let's see. You've got a lot of props in your background. I shorts on. I almost made not to. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Yes. Uh, If you've... Watch me on the Linux cast. Mm -hmm. I've talked about these GPUs quite a bit, the A770 and, mm -hmm. and so on. Uh, Intel Arc Life is good life mm -hmm. uh, because I don't know how to install video drivers anymore because they, they just work. Okay. That's nice. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the only trade off is mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, as a guy that likes to install and test out Linux distribu distributions, e Especially when you know those Linux distributions also intentionally ask you to install their distro and test something out for them. Mm -hmm. uh, not every distro works because not every dis distro ships a 6.2 newer or newer kernel, and some of them that do still don't still uh, black blacklist uh, the i915 driver to the point where uh, it wants to work off of the integrated GPU on my uh, CPU compared to the dedicated GPU that I have installed. <laughs> 6.2 hit EOL in May this year. What is not shipping at least 6.2 at this point? Uh, LTS distros. That's a fair point. That's actually yeah. Fair. Like uh, open. I think OpenSUSE Leap is still shipping a 6.0 <laughs> something kernel. Okay. Uh, Red Hat still is shipping the 5.15 kernel. Uh, yeah. Debian is still. I think Deb current Debian stable is 6.1. Mm -hmm. Ubuntu, I don't know what the current LTS kernel is, but I, but I know by default the installer is pulling up 6.1, but you might have an update to like 6.3 or something like that. Uh, Ubuntu, Linux. But mm. you know, it's not canonical that's asking me to install something. That was actually the Linux Mint team. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. What is it? Uh, I'm not finding. I'm sure someone, someone probably reported on it at the time, but I can't find the number. I know, I know that it released with the 6.1 kernel. Okay, but okay, uh, that's fair. there are some, there are some times where, where they were through the update cycle, they, they pull in a brand new kernel, or you know, they backport drivers and such. All, right, all right. I know is that last time I tried the LTS, it still didn't work. Right. So if you wanted to use it on that, you would have to go through that. Like there was, there's a list of setup steps you can do to get it working on that stuff. Yeah. You. Yeah, you basically just act activate the uh, kernel, the development kernel uh, PPA, uh, mm -hmm. which is shipped and maintained by the Linux kernel team themselves for Ubuntu, mm -hmm. uh, and then you can and then you can install the Intel repository to pull in the version of Mesa that's pr properly compiled, and then everything should work after that. But you know, it doesn't always work because you know uh, everything else is pretty old at this point. Right, right. But I can safely say. And highly recommend that at this point, if you're running a more a more modern distribution like Fedora or Arch Linux or anything like that, Intel Arc has a heavy recommendation because it works faster on Linux than it does Windows. <laughs> I have verified this. And also, believe it or not, legacy support on Linux games work better than Windows. Right. And this is because Proton uses DXVK by default. Which means that your DirectX 8 and 9 games actually work on Linux where they don't work on Windows. <laughs> Which, yes, I know you can set up and install DXVK on Windows, mm -hmm. but it is not a good experience. I don't recommend it. Uh, also, if you're using Intel Arc, use Wayland, not Xorg, because uh, the Xorg drivers are a little sketch because, you know, it's minimum viable. Let's just get this thing working so you can have a basic display output. That way you can install the Wayland version right. of whatever desktop you're using. 